there's light. There's light. It's all, all prior to me. It's about changing lives. It's about building people. And it's about building communities. Because people are very important when you talk about resilience. You, you have the largest country like Nigeria in sub-Saharan Africa in terms of population. And you have almost 50 to 55% of that population being without electricity. So then you can imagine the poverty levels that, ent that entails. There's now a lot of work that needs to be done to actually reduce the number of people that are living below the poverty line. And one of the most fundamental ways to do that is by giving them access to electricity. And we've seen that happen because when people have electricity, um, you don't need to tell them what to do. They start up small businesses. They start up cottage industries. The confectionery has gone from having just one bakery to now three bakeries by transitioning to using clean energy. A lot of what we do is local community engagement. We've been to 16 states across Nigeria. We've reached 80 communities across Nigeria. And we have trained almost 3,000 people on energy access. A lot of people are realizing how integral it is to involve women in energy access conversations. And so at Clean Tech Hub, we have a very robust gender program where we look at how to support women in energy leadership positions. Collaborating on research and collaborating on projects has been one of our strongest ways of working with RMI. They came into the country and did this work around designing and producing a mini grid investment brief that has become the seminal document for anyone who's coming into the country and wants to wants to understand what the opportunities are. At some point, we're going to begin to reach great parity. So it is the right time for people who want to come into the sector, who are looking at this as viable options for their energy access to begin to do that.